Hello Pisces! We have an Emperor showing up in your reading today. Um, this particular Emperor is up to something. Stay tuned to find out more. Hello Pisces! Welcome, welcome, welcome to your reading. Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Very happy to have you here today. We had two cards come out in the pre-shuffle from our Queen of the Moon Oracle. We will talk about those here in just a moment. I hate announcements because they take up so much time, but I think you'll love this one. <laughs> On the For the mid-month to the end of the month readings, I will be choosing one person from the comments down below to receive a three card reading, whatever comes out from Spirit, at the end of the Pisces reading. I'll be doing it for all 12 zodiac signs. So comment down below if you're a subscriber to be eligible for that. It will be, I will be taking it from this one and the next one, from these next two readings, okay? So this one and the one on the 10th. All right. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Welcome back, VIPs. Thank you for your love and support and encouragement. Welcome back, subscribers. Very happy to have you here. One more shuffle and then we'll split this deck. Repeat viewers, subscribe. <laughs> Brand new, welcome. All right, I think we're ready, Pisces. Low for good luck. <laughs> Pisces, the seventh through the ninth, please. Oh, don't want to lose the cards. Seventh through the ninth. All right, just a reminder, this is a general reading. As such, not everything will resonate with you. Take what does, sweep away that which does not. Justice, the devil, the ten of cups. There you are, Pisces, happy as a lark. Did you find your emperor? Did you find your emperor? The nine of wands. Is this that person that was hot and steamy on Monday? The nine, <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> yes it is Pisces. Beach. Oops, this is your side. Six of swords, five of swords. <gasps> tower and the nine of cups we got to check out that tower what is that tower tell me about the tower 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 that card yes no no okay. we keep getting this okay this card keeps flying up. I'm gonna pull it out, but we're putting it back in the deck. Um, somebody may be on your mind. You may be do daydreaming about somebody. Somebody may might be wanting to reunite with you, Pisces. If it comes out again, we'll take it. I need a card on the tower, please. Ooh, we got two and they're turned over. Let's see. Three of swords, three of wands. Pisces, I, I think this is saying, these are the cards that are leading up to our tower, right? There's this feeling of waiting and feeling heartbroken. We need to know what's gonna come next on that tower because everything else looks fantastic, except for this, really. So what's coming next after the tower, please? Or, well, duh. Duh. <laughs> Chariot, Knight of Cups, Palace of Coins. Duh, what's coming next? Shown right here. Happy, happy, joy, joy. <sighs> Pisces, all three water signs are here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
Um, with the palace of coins, that covers all three earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do see Aquarius and Libra, no Gemini. Um, and we also have Sagittarius but no Aries or Leo. Oh, there is Aries, Aries. All right, my love, so are we ready? Um, I'm gonna bring up those cards here in just a minute. All right, so Pisces, you have the Justice card, Libra energy. This particular card is expressing the desire for you to get what you deserve to get something good in your life, right? To have good forward movement, to receive good karma for the good that you've put out in the world. To have things start to move in your way, that's what's going on in your mind. Now, some of you may be dealing with a legal legal issue, you know, that might be on your mind. Some of you might be dealing with a commitment issue that may be on your mind. If you're married, you may be focused on the marriage. But ultimately, Pisces, you're looking for things to start to turn in your favor. You're desiring for things to start to turn in your favor, hoping and wishing for that to be so. Your challenge with this energy of Aquarius is the Six of Swords. Perhaps, perhaps you're trying to leave something behind and start fresh, right? I do see that you've been through a difficult trial with this Nine of Wands. So it looks like you're trying to leave something behind, a thought process, I believe, because he's taking these swords with him. We talked about that before, right? No, Pisces, do not move forward into any relationship, taking the negativity and the thoughts of the previous person with you, okay? Don't do that. If you're in a long-term committed relationship and you have resolved an issue with your partner, do not bring it up again. Let it go. Do not carry it with you. No, 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 no. Got it? <laughs> do not, do not, do not. It's possible that with that six of swords, what you're having to, to let go of is some sort of heartache over waiting. You are waiting for something that did not materialize. And this seems to be between you and this other person. I feel like this is someone else. This is this is somebody you are waiting on that did not materialize. And it's like enough is enough is enough of that because you got somebody great coming in and this other person that's coming in is amazing. Amazing. But you're still carrying the heartbreak. I mean, there's six swords, there's six here. Three wands, three swords, right? Three wands of waiting, three swords of heartache, six swords of thoughts, right? It's like, you need to leave the swords on the dock, Pisces. Let me, let me pull that card up, okay? You need to leave the swords on the dock, my loves. If you take, if you take some sort of negative thought process with you into this new relationship that we see here, that's materializing, um, it will not be good for you. And do not compare your new person to your old person you're waiting on, okay? Let me show you. In this Six of Swords, they leave, this, they leave the thoughts, the worries, the fears on the dock in order to sail away into the sunset, right? To move towards a new beginning. It could be the sunrise rather than the sunset could be leaving that stuff behind so you can start something fresh, something new. But yet, there's a mask on and there's swords in this card. No, 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 Pisces. You take that mask off. You let this person see you for who you are. You be your authentic self. And don't take the hurts and worries from the past with you. Nope. Now your person, your person's got it bad for Pisces. <laughs> they have it bad for Pisces. Extremes and focus. Your person's pretty darn focused on you, Pisces. This is what's going on in the thoughts 
okay? <laughs> so this isn't an action where somebody's dealing with an addiction. This is what's going on in the thoughts. They're obsessing about the Pisces, but they're obsessing about connecting with the Pisces. Maybe not obsession. We'll take obsession away. So cross watcher, I take back what I said. I felt somebody getting angry. <laughs> we won't call it obsession. We'll call it desire. Desire. Desire in the Pisces. Eve personified for you Pisces women. And like the incredibly handsome, sexy Pisces men, you know? Desire in the Pisces. So, interesting. But you gotta, you're, you're gonna have to release this though. You're gonna have to let go of this, this situation first. Cause it's coming between the two of you. It's coming between the two of you. All right, so. Capricorn energy, the devil energy, right? That can be that desire and passion. It could also be the fact that this person is kind of like bound by their thoughts, bound by something that, that they're unable to release, right? I don't really see that. I see I see with the, the Knight of Wands in their actions, I see a desire for you, Pisces. They're, they desire to come forward towards you. They find you sexy, they find you adorable, they, you know, they want, <laughs> They want some alone time with the Pisces, which we saw on Monday. We already know that. So if this is the same person presenting, great. But if it's not, this might be somebody else. I mean, Pisces, you often have multiple suitors. It's very rare that you only have one person interested in you. Um, so on a heart space level, Pisces, you have the 10 of cups. Once again, if you're in a long-term committed relationship or you are married, this is showing the love you have for your partner. If you are single, situationship, et cetera, if, you know, that sort of thing, then this is a desire for you to be happy, a desire to only seek out that which makes you happy in life, which is wonderful. Pisces, 2021, it's gonna be great for the Pisces, yay. <laughs> so this is you sitting there saying, you know what, I, I just want that, I just want that happy peace, right? I just want that, that thing that like, during the day makes me feel excited, makes me feel happy, makes me smile, that sort of thing. You want happiness, you seek happiness, you desire happiness. Your person over here is in big old planning mode. <laughs> Their heart is trying to figure out what in the world to do. Cause this is an emperor with two wands. I chose to use this deck again. We used this deck on Monday. I love this deck. I love all the Chiro Marchetti decks, but um, this guy, he's got two wands. Wands are about action, action. The emperor rarely takes action. He delegates and, and has other people doing things for him. But in this particular duck, he's taking control by golly Pisces. You know, he's gonna win the Pisces heart. He's just trying to figure out which way is the best way to do it. Be a, use a little bit of caution, Pisces. This is for those of you that are dealing with somebody who has control issues. This combination, if they were together on the heart space or together on the mind space, I would be concerned that this is somebody who's manipulative and trying to worm their way into your life and, and may not be a good influence for you. So if you happen to know you're dealing with somebody controlling, please use caution. But these were separate, and so I don't really feel that that's an issue. They may like uh, like to be in control of their life, but I don't really see a huge issue there. I'm seeing a man or woman that is actually a little bit afraid of letting anybody get too close. So this particular person has been hurt in the past. They've been through some really, really big difficulties and they are guarded. That's their biggest challenge is they're guarded. It's interesting because both of you have a similar challenge, right? The things from the past are affecting the way you are 
in the present together, right? Don't, neither one of you, cross watcher, leave it behind. You gotta open up to the Pisces. They're gonna already, the Pisces is already gonna know what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're desiring anyway, because the Pisces is pretty darn intuitive. And they will never tell you they know, but they know. The Pisces knows. If you've done something that, that the Pisces won't be too thrilled about, they're gonna know that too, but they're also not gonna tell you. They're gonna give you enough rope to hang yourself on the hangman's tree and then they'll say, oh yeah, by the way, I knew. <laughs> I knew all along. <laughs> so just be aware, cross watcher. You can't, you, can't, uh, you can't pass anything over the Pisces. They look all soft and sweet and ooey gooey and you know, constantly the, the major givers, but they take notice, believe me. So nine of wands, this is where you are Pisces. Battle warned and weary, almost about ready to give up on love, almost about ready to give up on, on trying, right? Here you are taking a break. It's like, just need to take just a minor little break to catch a second wind, because all you need is that one wand. All you need is this person to take one little action, and then you will be fine. <laughs> you can leave it all behind. And where's that one wand, right? Where's the one wand? It's in this Knight of Wands hands. Your person is about to bring this to you. Your person is about to come your way. I do not see him negatively aspected. So tarot readers, I do not see him negatively aspected as the player, so I'm not concerned about that. Um, this just is a strong sense of desire, a strong sense of action. And we see that desire here pretty strongly, right? But the focus is on bringing about change in this connection. And it's the this emperor person who's focused. This person over here is focused. The emperor plans. But like I said, the situation from the past is between you. So whichever one of you is in need of releasing that, maybe both of you have somebody you need to release, then you will do so. Nine of Cups. Now, Nine of Cups can be partying. Never know. <laughs> Your old emperor over here might want to party hardy, but, um, but the Nine of Cups is also happiness, right? Happiness and joy. And what we clarified that as movement, Somebody coming towards you, sweet, romantic, charming, adorable, and stability. There could be a focus on your home as well. If this is somebody you've been dating for a while, you may be looking to move in together because that palace of coins can also represent the home. So there's also that possibility, but I'm not seeing that very strongly. I'm seeing more like your person over here is getting ready to come forward. Their true intention is they have physical desire. Their outward intention, sweet, charming, romantic. Um, just make sure they're coming in for the right reasons, okay? The reasons that you are comfortable with, Pisces. All right, my dears, let's get busy clarifying this. I'm gonna head on over to the extended. If you'd like to, enjoy, to join me over there, stay tuned for the extended preview. As always, love and light to all. Thank you for your presence here. Don't forget to comment down below to be eligible to win that three card poll on the 15th. You have to be a subscriber and comment down below and have a great day. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm, I'm seeing a vision. I'm seeing a vision of a woman at, it looks like, like, um, it almost looks like a holiday village. There's like, there's like, it's not like tons. It's actually like, it's, there's snow. It kind of has like, sort of like an Alpine feel. So maybe it's, maybe it's Colorado-ish. Um, it kind of looks a little bit Alpine-like. And I see this woman getting extremely mad at her guy for talking to somebody else throwing her, I guess it's a, it was a hot drink, throwing her hot drink out and storming off. Um, I don't know who that is that stormed off, 
but his explanation for why he was talking to that girl was 100% accurate is what Spirit is saying. He was not flirting. He was not trying to um, trying to ask her out or anything like that. Like he's really, really invested in you. I don't think you've talked to him for a while. I'm getting the name Anthony. Um, I don't think you've talked to him for a while and Um, we're going to add this because it may be somebody who's not getting an extended. I'm going to add this to the end of the Pisces video. Um, but it doesn't look like you've talked to him for a while, but he was telling you the truth. Spirit wants you to know. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to like stop the video. I'll be back with the extended preview. If you're on YouTube, uh, I'll be back with the extended preview here in just a second. Hello Pisces, 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 Pisces. We clarified with the Light Seers Tarot. Um, no Empress showed up. I'm not, not really feeling Twin Flame. You know, it could be, but I'm not really feeling it. More likely Soulmate. Um, it does look like the two of you, I looked at why both of you are extremely guarded. Both you and this person. Uh, we had some absolutely stunningly beautiful cards come up. I did remove the cards here that talked about the difficulties. We removed them after clarifying um, just to kind of clear the space, you know, before we moved on from that. But we also took timing on when there's going to be some movement. Let me note that our emperor we got a big, 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 big decision that they're making. I mean, it's huge. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, I forgot to note this in the extended. Hold on, hold on. Just stay with me, y'all. Stay with me. He's here somewhere. Where did he go? First of all, you were both showing up with the Knight of Wands. This tells me strong chemistry between the two of you. Very strong chemistry between the two of you. And we also have our king and queen of pentacles. So that gives you a little tiny preview about what is going on. We had some really fantastic cards. There is some things that you and this person need to overcome. Need to overcome. Absolutely, positively need to individually overcome. But everything looks fantastic. We can call it the... the uh, <laughs> this particular emperor wants to be triumphant. Let me put it that way. <laughs> All right. If the extended is of interest to you, Pisces, link in the description box, link down below in the comments. Don't forget to comment down below so that you can be eligible to um, win the three card message from spirit for the mid months on Pisces. And I shall see you again soon. Bye bye. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.